guys uh, we were messing with the heater again in the garage uh, we're still trying to make use of the, uh, the heat from the exhaust um, I've just had delivered in the post which I'm really pleased with uh, a Ford Galaxy heat exchanger um, bought this off eBay it was uh, 15 pound and it's a really well made little piece of kit so we're pretty much gonna gonna splice this into the exhaust um, just cut it in and, and splice this in so the exhaust coming in here and going out there I mean that's that's gonna just cut off nicely and uh, the exhaust gonna flow through and then you've got the two water pipes um, which are, are just going to be attached to the radiator there and there and hopefully this will this will heat the water quicker and it's uh, nicely contained in there and uh, we'll see if we can heat the radiator so I've just cut the two um, end pieces off the uh, heat exchanger where it goes onto the vehicle using a, a one mil cutting disc these are fantastic they, they cut through metal like butter uh, and luckily the, uh, the exhaust from the machine fits absolutely perfect onto that pipe there such a nice tight fit um, and then we're just going to put a jubilee clip on that same the other side and uh, that's going to that's going to be spot on just what i wanted that is so they've gone absolutely spot on it, it couldn't have worked out better um, so we've got the exhaust sorted that's just got to go into the machine and then we've just got the water pipes to uh, to connect one it in the water in and the one out so uh yeah we'll just got to get on and do that okay so we've uh fitted all the pipes on um this is what we've come up with I said we've uh put the heat exchanger in the uh, middle of the exhaust pipe and uh we put the other two water pipes one to the pump and one uh, to the radiator going around in a loop all the pipes seem to fit quite well actually it all went went well it was quite easy um, so we'll uh, we'll get it started up and, and see how we get on okay I know the pipes are all a bit of a bodge and a mishmash and whatever but you, I'm just working with what I've got I've got a big um, box of uh, plumbing bits and bobs left over so uh, yeah just um, making do with what I've got uh, plumbing bits are so expensive now uh, the copper pipes just gone mad so uh, yeah so I'm just using what I've got I haven't bought all I've bought here is the heat exchanger and the, and the radiator there and just before while the uh, heaters get in hot I'm going to uh, switch the pump on see if we've got any major leaks um, not too bad um, but you can hear the uh, the radiator the water going through the radiator quite nicely and um, I've left uh, I've left this open here um, on my last experiment a couple of people pointed out that you need a, a bit of a breather or some pressure release um, valve otherwise you, you're just going to get the uh, one of the joints pop off so uh, I'll just leave that open it's it's a low pressure system so uh, should be okay so we've turned it on again I've only got it on heat setting two it goes up to number six so we'll just start it off gently um, apologies I still haven't bought the um, the non-contact heat temperature the temperature gun uh, down the wife plays with it with, with the cat with the laser on it so uh, it's in the house somewhere uh, but that's that's red hot already that's that's hot and that's that's traveling through there nicely that's getting pretty hot I think I'm gonna get the uh, get the pump switched on straight away get get that going No leaks, which 
I'm, a, I'm amazed with. So here's the exhaust coming outside, and uh, we've got a bit of gunge coming out there. Um, I imagine that's some uh, rubbish that's in the uh, heat exchanger from when uh, it's been used for a car. So that should should burn off quite quickly. We're off to quite a good start. Um, that's really hot, the, f the first part of the exhaust, and um, you can tell the heat exchanger is uh, that's that is taking like loads of the uh, the heat out of the exhaust and uh, putting it into the water and the radiator because this the second the later part of the exhaust is is a lot cooler. Um, obviously, it's, it's working. The, um, the heat exchanger is doing its job. Um, and the radiator's getting nice and nice and warm. So uh, yeah, looking good so far. Little pump pump's working well as well. This little 12 volt pump it seems to be uh, pumping the uh, the water around quite nicely. So I've, I've just topped the radiator right up to the top, and uh, I've bled it through that nipple there. Um, so the radiator is full of water and it's hot all the way through kids honestly this is this has got to be out of all the um, little experiments to get um, heat out of the exhaust these heat exchangers are the way to go um, that's the best results I've had yet that's 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 really warm and it, it's been on no time that is really it's what it's for it's a heat exchanger so uh, it's working so we've, uh, we've still got some um, hot steam condensation coming out the uh, out the exhaust whether you're always going to get that I don't know um, but this is uh, this is pretty cool out here um, so we're taking all the, the heat out of that, um, the front part of the exhaust. I mean, this is just a basic crude experiment, um, and this will be dismantled when it's all finished. But uh, I can see myself um, putting a small. I've got a kitchen attached to the garage here. And I could see myself putting uh, a couple of pipes through the wall and uh, putting a little radiator in there running off this seat out. I could see me doing that um, permanently. But for me today, it's all about this heat exchanger. This is what's making it work. Uh, I've tried a few other experiments. Forget them, I'd say. This is, this is definitely the best one and the way to go. Um, as I said, this is off a Ford Galaxy. I think it's about a 2006 diesel 1.9 TDI, and the pipes all seem to to fit. These fit, the exhaust pipes that come with the machine fit perfectly with the Jubilee clip. There's no smell of diesel there. They fit so tight. Um, I mean, I've just pushed the uh, water pipes in. It's, it's low pressure. I've just pushed those in with a, a bit of rubber. Bit of rubber pipe to seal them. Um, I probably solder them, you know, if it was going to be permanent. Yeah, so that that was about fifteen pounds off, off eBay delivered, um, and, the, and the pumps are just from fifteen to twenty pound. Um, the bits of pipe, accessory pipe, you can get a complete kit for about ten to twelve pound. Um, and the radiators, that, that was just about 20, 22 pound, I think, something like that. Um, but these are, uh, the little pump, it is a proper hot water pump for a caravan, and it works fantastic. But um, you can get a central heating pump, proper central heating pump that's going to outlast this. Uh, for about, I think I saw them on Amazon for about 35 pound. Um, that's going to that's gonna work as, uh, as good as you need it.
Couldn't resist coming out here to show you my uh, my other heater. I have it on every day. It's ticking away nicely and it's heating the house up. There you go. Can't resist showing you this. Going through, the heat's going through a hole in the wall there. I'll quickly show you on the other side. So there's the we're inside now, there's the box outside. And there's the controls. I've got it on halfway. Never did tidy that um, the vent up, but uh, that's that's kicking out some heat here, and it's it's warmed our house up. I've had that all on all day. I put it on at like six o'clock this morning. That's been ticking away nicely. Probably I don't know a couple of liters of uh, kerosene that's used, and the house is toast, and it's pretty cold here today. Are we back in the garage with the experiment? Um, I mean, look at the look at the temperature there. It's up to to twenty now in here. That's oh, that's uh, that's kicking out some heat. Um, this is uh, like I said, double garage. Um, it's a cold day, and it's toast in here. Um, see how this is getting on. That's lovely. That's hot, and it's hot, and it's right up to the top. But that's left open, so there's no chance of. Um, you know, when the water expands, it's just going to uh, go up there a little bit and come out if it has to. So, uh, yeah, a couple of people mentioned that to me on the, the last experiment, uh, and I do appreciate the comments. Uh, I learn a lot from them, so please keep the comments coming. It's the way you learn, isn't it? Still steaming outside. Maybe that's just going to keep keep on happening. Doesn't matter. Not hurting no one. Well that's it for today, I um, hope you've enjoyed watching and I uh, hope it might have uh, helped you in some way if you're considering doing a, a similar project. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching, I really appreciate you coming to watch me guys and uh, please give me a like and subscribe. Bye then. I know I'd uh, just finished the video but I just had to add this on because it's been on for uh, another five or ten minutes and this is absolutely boiling you can barely put your hand on that I just wanted to add that it's it's red hot so thanks again for watching